Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover some of the basic mixing effects in Cubase 12. In this part of the tutorial series, we'll cover the compressor and equalizer insert effects that we can apply to our channels in the mix console. Although we can use the channel strip rack, we've covered some of that in the previous videos, so we'll leave those alone for now. I'm going to demonstrate both the compressor tool and the equalizer using a direct recorded bass guitar since it's a very clean signal. To add plugins to our track, we'll bring up the mix console either in the bottom zone of Cubase 12 or by clicking the studio menu at the top and opening the mix console window. All these effects we're using will be selected from the inserts rack except some of the equalizer tools which are part of the EQ rack. Starting with the dynamic section of the inserts, we can use a basic compressor. With the top drop down, we can select a variety of presets to use as a starting point for our instruments, including piano, vocals, bass, drums, and guitar. The left meter is the input level, middle is the gain reduction, and the right meter is the output level. The graph shows how the compression is applied at different levels. The slider on the right side is the threshold, and the threshold is where the compressor effect will start to apply. At the bottom, we have a ratio that determines how much the volume above the threshold is reduced, with a soft knee button to smooth out the ratio around the threshold, and a high ratio button that will make the ratio closer to infinite, and make the compressor act more like a limiter. After that, we have attack, hold, and release. The attack is the time it takes for the compressor to apply after reaching the threshold, the hold is how long the compressor stays on after the level drops back down below the threshold, and the release is the time it takes for the compressor to turn off when the hold time ends. The knob set to auto is the makeup gain, and we can leave this as auto or manually set the gain level. With compression, we're squeezing down the audio, so sometimes we have to add that volume back. The next effect we'll look at is the limiter, and that's used to set the audio level to a maximum, with everything above that being limited to the maximum level. In Cubase 12, the limiter plugin has an input meter, a level knob, and a gain reduction meter, with release time to set the level back to baseline after it drops, and the output level. If you're using Cubase Elements, Artist, or Pro, then you'll also have access to both the Tube Compressor and the Vintage Compressor. The Tube Compressor integrates a tube simulation component to add warmth to the sound. The interface is different than the last compressor tool, but it's got similar tools such as the input level, output, attack, and release. You may notice there's no threshold level, but the threshold is controlled by increasing the input volume. Ratio is set to either low or high ratio. Drive adjusts the amount of tube saturation, and Character adjusts how the saturation affects different frequencies. In this case, we can use a filter that can be a low pass, band pass, or high pass with a frequency and Q factor to adjust the sidechain trigger, and we can use the monitor control to hear what the sidechain input is using to trigger our compression. The next compressor is the Vintage Compressor. Again, we get a gain reduction meter at the top, input and output levels on the sides, input and output knobs, attack, release, and ratio controls.
If you're using Cubase 12 Pro, you'll also have access to a multiband compressor. The multiband compressor is used to apply compression differently across the channel's different frequencies. The four colored rectangles at the top represent the four bands of the multiband compressor. The circle at the top is used to change the level of that band. The circle between the bands is used to adjust the frequency boundary between the bands. Down below, we can see that each band has its own threshold, ratio, attack, and release controls with a master volume output on the top right. The equalizer tools are used to adjust the levels of various frequencies on our channels, and we can cut or boost them to bring out some of the nicer frequencies of a channel, or cut down on some problematic frequencies that are interfering in the mix. All versions of Cubase 12 will have both the DJ EQ and the standard channel EQ. The standard channel EQ is the one that we see directly from the mix console view, and this can be pulled up more easily from a full screen mix console window. We have four bands that come up here. Band 4 is set to the high shelf, 2 and 3 are normal peak bands, and 1 is a low shelf. The high shelf is used to boost or cut all the frequencies by a set amount above a certain frequency and by a certain level. The low shelf works in the same way, and we can see how it represents the frequencies that they are affecting on the line that's being modified at the top. Each of these controls will have a level in decibels that controls whether it boosts if it's positive or cuts if it's negative. Then we get the frequency setting and the Q, which sort of adjusts the width around that frequency that it's changing. If we don't want to use those shelves and bands, we can click on them to change the shape. To activate this equalizer, we need to press the power button in the top left of each EQ band to turn it on, and then we can see that it lights up and the settings changes on the line above. All versions of Cubase 12 also have the DJ EQ plugin, but this just gives us a low, mid, and high frequency level controls without being able to dial that in or adjust the frequency at all. We can also use it to cut those frequencies out completely. If you're using Cubase 12 Elements, Artist, or Pro, you'll have access to the improved Studio EQ plugin. This is a four band parametric equalizer. At the top, we have the reset and spectrum controls with the reset button resetting all the controls and the spectrum displaying the frequency analysis. Each of these four bands has a frequency, width, and gain control. Bands one and four can be used as a shelf or cut filter. There are three different shelf shapes to choose from based on what frequencies they boost or cut more. The two middle bands just work as a standard band. We could also set bands 1 to 4 as a normal band. Thanks for checking out this video on using the compressor and equalizer effects in Cubase 12. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.